Two little gatekeepers play in the sand. Much curious Elo has left on a journey. Be back soon. Alright, so now we have fun. This was the one that I was I was thinking of that we have to leave for. But first we have to activate his little scene, otherwise we don't get to see it. Or rather I'm I'm debating on if it would be easier to pour it out and pour it back in. But either way I have to I have to walk and then walk back in. So at this junction I'm gonna say it's just easier to to walk it. Probably isn't. I'm probably super wrong, because I'm always wrong, apparently. But we'll get it. We'll get it done. We're gonna get it done in the least efficient way possible. It's part of the fun. Okay, so it's not part of the fun, but I find it fun. Hell, if I wasn't recording, I would have no encounters on. I, I mean, I wouldn't have no encounters on. It's part of the difficulty, it's part of the fun. But, for recording, it's useful! Because then I don't have to complain about having to edit it and then not editing it. And you don't have to listen to that. Unless you want to listen to that, I can just pretend. Ah, oh, shit, another fight. God damn it. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Alright. So you'll see, there he is. Hi, we're gonna, we're gonna fight you in. Bye. Okay. That's odd. Let me show us where he went. He got on our damn airship. So we're gonna bo you board the airship. I would suggest doing this right now like before you continue any of this because later on if if you are uh, further along in the game from this point specifically there's a fight that happens where elo is and if you are at that part of the fight you will automatically be put into that fight as opposed to the one with the cactar So I would suggest doing all of this side stuff before you continue any further. That's my personal belief. If you want to do something else, you are more than welcome to. There's the cactar. Hi, cactar. To see what lies beyond the sands, he travels far to distant lands. Hyper-reactive and a bad poet. Well, that was immediate. Like, that couldn't have been any more immediate. I'm gonna probably fuck up on this one. Got him. Uh, this is making me dizzy. Bye. I 
And we got his spear, yeah, because he died. <laughs> Alright, we have one left to get, and it's easy. Very, very easy. Biggest issue is having to walk there. The nice thing is, we've got the maximum reward no matter what happens with this last one. We're gonna get a friend sphere! Oh boy! Oh fucking boy! No, I know that's what I wanted. There's a friend sphere. Yeehaw! Personally, I think the Mega Elixir would have been better. But, again, I'm trying. Oh, well, frick. I didn't realize it was that close. I should have probably just poured it in. Okay. A long trek back. Oh, hey, the orb came back. That's good. I was a little worried when I walked through the airship and the orb went away. But it came back! Like a faithful dog. We're about to have the easiest out of all of these. And you'll see why in a moment. I don't even have to, like... Explain it to you, because you're gonna fucking see it. And then you'll have to deal with it. Um... These walks are awful. Now imagine if I had been recording without no encounter. This, these videos would be about two hours longer. Because this desert was a nightmare to traverse the first time. Much less back and forth. Okay, putting it in. Boop. Lightning appeared on the sphere. When it's set in the stone. One little gatekeeper plays in the sand. Flaley is always behind. Be back soon. The guy you never invite, but he always shows up anyway. Chicky. So see, automatically starts upon putting that sphere in. Shit, he doesn't say it. He's a dick. No wonder no one invites him. I don't even give a shit about this sphere. I've already got the maximum reward. Wow, he's an asshole! I don't even care. I got the sphere. Writing appears on the sphere is set in stone. Just writing on the stone. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Tormy's gone. Gone to fetch water. Gone for good. Aww. He died. Nine little gatekeepers play in the sand. Ravi is gone for a walkabout. Gone for good. Aww. Eight little gatekeepers play in the sand. Little chairs likes big numbers. Gone for good. Ow. Seven little gatekeepers play in the sand. Alec and Alja play tag in the ruins of men. Gone for good. Ow. 
five little gatekeepers split in the sand. Mother seeks the shining blue. Got them for good, because we murdered them. Four little gatekeepers split in the sand. Oh, Roby's stuck inside. Got them for good, dad. Three little gatekeepers split in the sand. Fiery inscription. The lord of the hole is gone. Is there a thinks. Got them for good. Two little gatekeepers split in the sand. Much curious Elo that has left on a journey. Gone for good. That's the sad part. That's the sad one. One little gatekeeper plays in the sand. Quail is always behind. Gone for good. Oh, maybe they aren't all dead. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Nobody's here. The sand is gone. Bye, sand. And as you can see, that doesn't work anymore. So we're going to go inside. And this is my grind spot. I don't really... I guess I could show why. While we're here. First I want to grab the chests and then I'll remove no encountered. Mercury Sigil. Friend Sphere. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and remove Peaceful Armlet. And run in a circle for a moment. We're not going to be here long. Like, at all. Come on. There we go. And normally, as long as you don't do anything to them, they, they'll stay. That shit hurts like fuck. Well, we can just bring Yuna in. And they don't do 10,000 needles too terribly often. That's everybody. I might have missed uh, Kamari. Now that I think about it. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that was everybody. 12,000 for fucking nothing. And Speed Spheres. So I personally think it's very worth it to come here. And sometimes you'll have two Cactars, and as long as you overkill them, you get a ton of. ton, 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 ton. ton of. XP. Or, I can't remember what the fuck they're called. Ability points. AP. There we go. So we'll put the no, we put the no encounter back on because we're leaving. We're going to go down here to the save point because that's the only way we're going to get out of here. And I will come back later and grind for a bit. Maybe finish off a few, uh, grids. It'd be nice. Board airship. We want to go. Because since we have no encounter, it doesn't matter really where we go. Just that we go! We're gonna go up this way. You might remember this as the place where we got the Celestial Mirror, and that's the reason. 
we're going here again. Because now that we have the Mercury Crest and the Mercury Sigil, we go back up here. You have your Celestial Weapon. You pick Riku. Complete the ritual. The weapon's power has grown. I think we have to do it one more time. Yep. And now we have Riku's best weapon. Easily my favorite weapon. Easily, easily. No. Quip. And here's why. God hand. It breaks the damage limit. She gets double AP. And she has Gillionaire. We're gonna be rich! But this is where we're gonna stop. I figure... One whole weapon's pretty good for stopping. So, I'm gonna get to the save point, and then I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody! Bye!